Wendy, what can you tell us? Good morning, Dan. I'm standing in the middle of the frontage road along Highway 69. And take a look at this. The water is up to my knees at this time. Empty bottles of water, empty plastic containers, and even a sock right over here. And that's the kind of stuff that ends up in the drainage system. This used to be hundreds of dollars. But on Wednesday night, the Savala family lost everything in a fire. It's a very busy morning for crews out here. As you can see behind me, this drain is still full. Now, what's happening this morning is these machines right behind me, I'm going to show you, are pulling the water from the drain. They're pulling it in here and they're pushing it back out. Now, this water is being pushed about a mile down the street. Marcy, the Texas Department of Transportation is planning to install 10 new cameras in different areas across the interstate. The vice unit has been around for more than a year. They specialize in narcotics, gambling, and prostitution. They brave the weather conditions from cold to wind to even a little bit of rain. Espinosa says the number one rule is to treat every gun as if it's loaded. They received several complaints from residents living in this area that possible drug trafficking could be taking place at the home right behind me. And tonight, four men and two women are in custody. Now, this all started around 4 o'clock on the 1700 block of Ivy Lane in Edinburgh. The vice unit, along with a canine officer, searched the home for several hours. Investigators were able to seize several different kinds of drugs from the home. For over 34 grams of cocaine, they were seized. There was over 43 grams of methamphetamine. There was over four ounces of synthetic marijuana. There was over two ounces of marijuana and over two grams of Xanax tablets. All these drugs were seized from within the residence. A handgun was also recovered, and at this time, so all individuals are being questioned. Trevino could not tell us at this time what charges will be filed, but he says he expects all of them to be in front of a judge as early as Saturday. For now, reporting live in Edinburgh, Wendy Aguilar, Action 4 News. It is the story of many undocumented immigrants. This is where my children grew up, and this is where my other children were born. Some got married here. I have grandkids who were born here. Marcela Alejandre left Mexico more than 25 years ago. For her, Edinburgh is home, but it's a home where she doesn't always feel welcome. What I think about the most is that every time I go out, I don't know if I will come back home to see my family. Like millions of undocumented immigrants living in the United States, Alejandra's biggest fear is deportation. It wasn't until last November when the president announced the executive order for DAPA that she saw an opportunity. I can search for other work opportunities. I can live a life without fear of deportation. I can be successful and have many opportunities that I don't have now because because of my legal status. Alejandre is a babysitter. She has five children of her own. Three of them were born in the U.S. And because of them, she would qualify for DAPA. Still, Alejandre is hopeful. She has all her paperwork ready for when that day comes. I'm not going to give up. Erica Savala and her family lived in this home for 12 years, but she says it only took 10 minutes before everything was gone. Erica can't hold back the tears as she looks at what's left of her home after a fire destroyed everything that the single mom had built for her and her family. Tengo cinco hijos. I have five children. I'm a mother and a father to them. I don't have help from anyone and it's difficult. It was around six o'clock when the fire started and it quickly spread through the home. All five children were inside when the fire started. Today, she's thankful no one was injured. You can always replace material stuff with a life of sacrifice. While working several jobs to support her family. I work at the carnival, I make tacos, or I go clean houses. Among the ashes, the fruit of her labor, money she had earned working all jobs, now gone. That money took me a whole month just to raise that money. Savala and her family are left with only the clothes on their backs. She did not have insurance for her property. <laughs> if someone can help me because my home, as you can see, is a total loss. La policía y los padres de familia están en alerta. La policía está patrullando toda el área de las escuelas y los padres de familia están caminando a sus hijos a la escuela y recordándoles no hablar con extraños.